Let's move to the uh, university enrollment and scholarship. Could you share with us how did you get the MEX scholarship? How did you prepare for a very competitive uh, application? Okay, so first, uh, my scholarship was MEX scholarship, the scholarship from Japanese Ministry of Education. Uh, I got it when I was a master's student first, and after I finished my master course, I applied for it again for an extension, and I got it for the PhD. Um, so the first question is, like, the how to... Part? Okay, mm. let's start with the next. How did mm. you prepare for a very competitive application? Mm. I think the most important thing is the thesis. Mm. I think it's number one. Of course, there are several factors, but number one is the thesis. Uh, you have to have a solid background, educational background, in what you want to do. Because when you have good knowledge and a strong background, you know what are the challenges in this field and you have to find a certain problem that you want to tackle. Yes. Write about it, study it, propose your thesis, the solution for this problem. Uh, it has to be something innovative, uh, something that is um, that, that f people find it challenging and they want a solution for it. Uh, that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And of course, after that comes come different factors as well. Um, like to know about the country, to know what you want to do, mm -hmm. to have a plan for your life. <laughs> exactly. You yeah. Have to be specific. Yes, exactly. Life is full of opportunities, but it's full of competition. Yes. So you have to understand yourself first. Yes. What do you want? Why? And how do you want it? Yes, yes. Hmm. That's really motivational. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Thank thanks. you, Manasa. Welcome. So, and if, if, do you have something to add for uh, the next scholarship specifically? Mm. Any comments? Um, like for example, you applied for MEX through the embassy? Yes. Can yes. You like just few yes. Uh, I can talk about uh, MEX in Palestine mm -hmm. because I come from Palestine. I don't know about the other parts. But in Palestine, they give it for three students every year. And you apply through the Japanese uh, embassy in Ramallah. Uh, the, it's the consulate, not the embassy. The consulate office is in Ramallah. You have to talk to the uh, to the consulate office directly to ask about the details, uh, when to apply, where, when is the deadline, like the application, and all the papers, everything related to that. Many people ask about these uh, details on the internet, but I don't think it's a good way to get uh, the information for sure. It's better to ask the embassy itself. And then start preparing. Give yourself time, because especially for the thesis, you can't write a good thesis in a few weeks or in a month, especially if you're studying, if you're busy, if you have a busy lifestyle. Uh, have an idea in advance in your mind and then start reading about it. Uh, have a plan and then start writing. It takes time, so take time to prepare. It's, it's a big step in your life and it, it deserves it. It deserves to give it time. Take time, yeah. be patient, and be well prepared. Yes, yes. So to guarantee that you will be accepted. Yes.